Hey, hello, this is Mike, 30 Sim, and you are here for one reason, and that is you want to find out what are the best settings to get a very smooth VR experience in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Well, I'm going to um, go through all of them, and I wanted to make sure that I ticked all the boxes and didn't skip any one setting for you. So, a few of you have been waiting uh, for this video to come out. And here it is. And as I'm flying here in and out of clouds over Palermo in Italy, I can assure you these settings will work. Well, they work for me and I hope they will work for you as well. So without further ado, let's go into the settings. And the first thing we are gonna do is the uh, NVIDIA control panel. All right, see you there. Here we are in the NVIDIA control panel. On the first one, when you open it, make sure you set it at use the advanced 3D image settings. Otherwise, the settings we're gonna set in the uh, manage 3D settings will not work. Click on take me there, and you come into the 3D settings. So ambient occlusion is off, filtering 16 times. FXAA, gamma correction, both off mode application controlled and the uh, setting is also application controlled transparency is off background application max frame rate 30 frames per second so if you want to alt tap out of the simulator and open another program the simulator will run in the background at 30 frames per second and when you come back in you get the full uh, frame rate again And then we scroll down, CUDA, GPUs, all, driver default for fallback policy, the DSR factors, we're not going to use them, but it's, you can check them all and you've got the uh, extra scaling options, smoothness is then 33%, low latency mode, we're going to set this one in on and in the program settings for the flight simulator, we're going to switch that off. Max frame rate off. Monitor technology fixed refresh. Uh, MFAA on. OpenGL both to auto, auto select. Power management mode set to normal. Not to maximum performance. Otherwise your GPU will run at the maximum performance all the time. And in normal it will boost your GPU to its maximum performance when needed and um, so it's also less uh, power consuming preferred uh, refresh rate for your monitor highest available share the cage size I have it set to 5 gigabytes you can set it higher as well or lower don't select driver default but 5 gigabytes is more than enough Anisotropic uh, sample optimization is on. Negative LOD bias set to clamp. Building quality, you can set this one on performance or quality. If you set it to quality, then the sample optimization is off. And if you set it to performance, then the sample uh, optimization will be on. I have it on performance, works great. Threaded optimization, auto, triple buffering, off, vertical sync, usually 3D application setting, virtual reality, pre-rendered frames is one, and the uh, variable rate super sampling on adaptive. So if it needs that, it will use it. And then Vulcan OpenGL is on auto. So when we go to the program settings, we're gonna use all the settings that we had set in the global settings. The only thing that has changed is the low latency mode is selected off. The rest is all the same as the global settings. Then you click apply 
the screen will flicker and the buttons will disappear and it has been applied. So these are the settings for the uh, HP Reverb G2. That's the headset that I have. If you have another headset, uh, you go to the uh, the settings uh, software for your headset. Um, is the uh, display resolution 4320 by 2160? That's the best quality, and the frame rate is set to 90 hertz. And here are my in-game settings for the flight simulator. So for PC, as you see up here. It is a full screen and on 1080p. That's my second monitor. Uh, normally I run it on my main monitor, but that's in ultra wide. So this will be your native resolution for the display you're using. It's on uh, DLSS quality mode. Uh, sharpening is 100, V-Sync is off and low latency is off. I'm using DX11. That works best for me. And it also worked with DX12, but uh, just put it on uh, the DirectX version, what works best for you. For the rest, on the uh, advanced settings, I have everything set to low. So uh, you go to uh, low end, I set this to low end, and then turn all these other things off. These are all off. Yep, it's now all off. So low end is the best because we're not going to use the monitor to fly. We're going to use VR. So here are the VR settings. DLSS, super resolution, quality, sharpening at 40. Reprojection mode is off. World scale 100. Low latency is off because we're going to use the turbo mode in the OpenXR toolkit for the headset and then the rendering quality is this custom and here you see my settings 120 for uh, level of detail terrain level of detail pre gauging is ultra vector data buildings trees grass and bushes all high objects level of detail 120 clouds on ultra texture resolution is high Anisotropic filtering is off because we already set that in the NVIDIA control panel to 16 times. Texture super sampling 4x4, synthesis high, border waves high, shadow maps 1024, shadows 512, and then we've got shadows, windshields effect, and ambient occlusion on medium, cube map refractions on 256. Rate March Reflex is medium, light shafts off, bloom off, and refresh rate on medium. If you need some more FPS, you can lower these settings as well for the windshield effects, contact shadows, uh, Rate March Reflections. That's a very hard FPS hitter. You can set that one to off. That will work as well. So these are my settings for VR. You can copy them and um, test them out. Let me know in a comment below uh, this video if it worked for you or not. Here we are. Um, this is a uh, Discovery flight, low photo, Norway. And these are the settings for the low end for uh, flying on the PC or on the monitor. So let's uh, start her up. Let the uh, AI fly. As you can see, the uh, GPU, CPU very low. Um, 90 frames per second because well this doesn't look good it's for very low-end uh, computers so they can still fly this but now the computer doesn't have to calculate that much because it's just low graphics now when we switch to VR real quick here here we go so now you see in VR everything is pretty awesome and still very smooth 43 44 45 frames per second and CPU is not limited it's 23% and GPU is doing most of the work look at that rainbow beautiful and if you go to the cockpit in this view you see the GPU is doing a lot of work I can look around 
like this. I'm just now holding the, the, the headset in my hand. But you can see how smooth it is. Now, okay, let's switch to the uh, VR recording. That's this one. Now you don't see the GPU counter, but you can see how smooth everything is. Let me just, because now I'm holding it, so maybe it's shaky. But, oh. Let me hold it just like this. Look at that. It's just beautiful. If I go to outside view, I have to adjust the uh, headset a little bit. And we can, uh, let me see, where's the mouse? We can pan around here. Here we go. And if I check now the OpenXR toolkit. So, I have performance. Uh, I'll go back one. So FPS is now on. Um, I'm on FSR. Uh, anamorphic is off. Size, because that is set in the uh, system menu. Sharpness 60%. Turbo mode on, and that is the uh, low latency. Frame rate throttling at 45. So I limited. I'm limited to the 45 frames per second. In the appearance menu, that's just the colors. Is the input over projection prediction reduction? That's for shakiness. And but in the system menu, override resolution, yes. And then for the HP reverb, it's uh, 2500 by 2450. Motion reprojection off. These are just for the colors, and the rest is the the hand mask. If I disable the hand mask, you get this. You see, that's the uh, binocular view. But for recording, I uh, I disable it. And that's it. And in the menu, this is all the menu. Make sure you have the uh, the expert settings on. If you want to change these. Check the expert settings. So these are my settings for the sim. And by reducing the um, the output scale to 2500, you are um, getting more frames per second. And still the image looks really nice and crisp and sharp in the headset. Okay guys, these are my settings to get a very smooth VR experience in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I hope these settings will work for you as good as they are working for me. So let me know in a comment below uh, how it is working out for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It will help with the views and I really appreciate the effort. This was Mike, 30 Sim, and I hope you all have a good one. Bye for now and see you in the next video.